everyone in the previous lecture we have seen the gibbs helmholtz function and the gibbs helmholtz equation so in today's lecture we will see significance of gibbs function significance of helmholtz function and maximum work and the last point of today's discussion is significance of gibbs helmholtz equation so these are the three points which we are going to discuss in today's lecture so our first point of discussion is significance of gibbs function at a constant temperature we know the definition of delta s which is equal to qr divided by t so we can write equation as t delta s is equal to qr and at constant pressure we know the definition of enthalpy delta h is equal to delta u plus pd v or delta h is equal to delta e plus pd v so here delta h represents the enthalpy change delta e represents change in internal energy p is the pressure and dv is the change in volume so our definition of gibbs function is g is equal to h minus ts and gibbs free energy change can be given by this equation delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s here we can put values of delta h and t delta s to this equation so our equation became delta g is equal to delta e plus pdv minus qr because tds is equal to qr and here is the sign negative so we can write minus qr and according to first law of thermodynamics qr minus delta e which is equal to w max so w max represents the maximum work done here heat minus change in internal energy is equal to w so we can write the gibbs free energy equation as this equation can be rewritten as delta g is equal to minus in a bracket w max so delta e and minus qr just we can change sign as qr minus delta e is equal to w max so here is the reverse condition delta e minus qr so negative sign will be there minus w max plus pdv so in bracket we can write the term as minus outside the bracket in bracket w max minus pdv so this is the change in gibbs free energy now the negative sign represent the decrease in free energy and this represents maximum work that is a non pressure volume type of work that can be obtained from spontaneous process carried out at a constant temperature and pressure and i will tell you some properties and significance of delta g that is a change in gibbs free energy so the free energy change for any process is a state function which depends upon the initial and final states and delta g is a definite quantity at any given temperature and pressure and delta g varies as this two variable changes means when temperature and pressure will change obviously delta g will be different and the absolute values of the free energies of the substance are not known in processes only the differences are determined then free energy change of the reaction can be expressed in equation similar to the thermochemical equations and this equations can be added or subtracted as algebraic equations and the sign of the free energy is of great importance sign will be either positive or negative so when the driving tendency of a reaction is from left to the right side energy is always lost by the system and the reaction can take place spontaneously and at that time the delta g is negative 
means for the spontaneous process change in gives gives free energy will be negative in other words i can see that the spontaneous reactions occur with decrease in free energy then when the processes are non spontaneous obviously gives free energy will be positive because system will absorb energy and when the reaction in which the tendencies to proceed in the forward and backward directions are equal that is the system and the surroundings are in equilibrium state obviously delta g of the system under this condition will be equal to zero therefore the resultant free energy change of an equilibrium state is zero and thus the sign of delta g indicates whether the given reaction is spontaneous or non spontaneous and about three possible conditions for the free energy change of a process occurs at temperature and pressure both will be constant that means when delta g is negative system will be spontaneously proceeding when delta g is positive there is a non spontaneous reaction and when delta g is equal to zero that is a equilibrium condition so these are the significance of the gibbs function so our next point of today discussion is physical significance of helmholtz function during a reversible change if heat of reaction is absorbed at the constant temperature we have the increase in entropy delta s and this is given by the expression delta s is equal to q r by t obviously this is the definition of entropy s is equal to q reversible by t and delta s is the change in the entropy which is equal to delta s of the system plus plus delta s of the surrounding or we can say that there is a difference of the entropies of system and surrounding then t delta s is equal to q r just transfer this t to the left side so t delta s is equal to q r and what definition of change in helmholtz free energy is equal to delta e minus q r so instead of delta e we can put minus w or in place of w we can write minus delta e so these two conditions are vice versa therefore here we can write in place of delta e w so equation will become q r is equal to delta e plus w reversible so just transfer this delta a to the right side it will become negative and negative delta a is equal to plus w reversible so from helmholtz equation or the helmholtz function we can find out maximum work so according to the equation which we have seen here a delta a is equal to w reversible and work done by the system in an isothermal reversible process helmholtz free energy is termed as the maximum work function or simply work function then our next point of today discussion is the physical significance of gibbs helmholtz equation in the last lecture we have seen the gibbs helmholtz equation and the equation is here delta g is equal to delta h plus t in a bracket del delta g divided by del t at a constant pressure so this is our change in gibbs free energy which is equal to change in enthalpy plus temperature into change in gibbs free energy it changes with respect to change in temperature and pressure will be constant here del delta g divided by del t this is known as a temperature coefficient so from this equation we can calculate the heat change in a reaction for the galvanic seals when we know the emf so 
we know the equation delta g is equal to minus n f e that is change in gives to energy is equal to minus n faraday into emf so e is the reversible emf and the equation when the emf is taken so equation is written as e is equal to minus in bracket delta h upon nf bracket complete plus t in second bracket del e divided by del t at constant pressure so this del e by del t at constant pressure represents the temperature coefficient of emf so if we know the e that is emf and the del e by del t obviously temperature will be known at that time we can calculate the enthalpy change or the heat of reaction then secondly if the standard potential of the electrode is known at two or more temperatures the entropy of the reversible ion can be determined by using a suitable form of gibbs helmholtz equation then our third application or the significance of the gibbs helmholtz equation is we can calculate the entropy changes and the enthalpy changes from the gibbs helmholtz equation so equation is delta h is equal to delta g sorry delta h is delta h minus delta g is equal to q reversible or we can write delta h is equal to delta g plus q reversible so in the above equation if there are three conditions when this delta h is greater than this delta g obviously this difference will positive that that's why q reversible will be positive and when the q reversible is possible positive energy is absorbed during the reaction from the surrounding secondly when the delta g is greater and delta h is less that means obviously when delta g is greater and the delta h is less the difference will be negative that's why q reversible will be negative here heat will be lost by the system to the surrounding heat is evolved and it is dissipated to the surrounding and third condition is this equilibrium condition that is a delta h is equal to delta g when this two parameters are equal obviously this term become negative that is a q reversible is equal to zero and for this condition heat is neither evolved nor absorbed and entropy of the system will be zero so this is all about the significance of gibbs function helmholtz function and the significance of gibbs helmholtz equation